Hey guys, it's your girl T and I know it's been a few days since I've been on camera, since I tweeted, Facebooked or anything. I ain't been feeling too good so I just wanted to take a break off of social media. But I wanted to come back on and do some videos today. I'm feeling a little bit better. I know a lot of people have been emailing me wanting to know my opinion about the whole Beverly Johnson situation. I'm sure everybody has heard by now that Beverly Johnson, who was a big supermodel, she's one of the first black supermodels on the cover of Vogue magazine. Um, she came out recently and spoke out against Bill Cosby and basically stated that she went to go meet Bill Cosby in New York at his apartment um, because at that point in time she wanted to get into acting. And Bill kept pressuring her to basically basically drink from this espresso and she was saying that she didn't really like espresso she didn't like cappuccino she didn't like drinking it in the afternoon but Bill Cosby kept telling her to drink it so she took a few sips and she said right away after she sipped it she knew that he had put something in her drink she started feeling really woozy she ended up cussing him out calling him all types of mfers so the whole situation was nuts. Once Beverly Johnson came out with this, I think this, I think her revelation sealed the deal for a lot of people. One thing about Beverly Johnson, she does appear to be a more stand-up woman. She doesn't have a really shady reputation like Janice Dickerson. A lot of people have been supporting Beverly Johnson. A lot of people are saying that Beverly Johnson is saying that this is true. It has to be true. You know, so it, it's given a lot of people, it's made a lot of people really, really give Bill Cosby the side eye after she came out with everything and she's saying that what encouraged her to come out was the fact that 20 other women came out and that you know he's a manipulator and that he needs to be caught out on his bullshit what I also find interesting is that now the LAPD are saying that they're going to reopen these cases and they're planning on filing charges against Bill Cosby that all of a sudden now that there's no more statute of limitations, even though some of these cases like the 15 year old at the Playboy Mansion took place almost 30 years ago. Story, the LAPD said it is willing to investigate any sexual assault claims against him and Cosby's attorney is firing back against one accuser. Kick out lines, Lori Perez is live outside LA Superior Court and down Town LA with the very latest glory. That's right. Today in court papers filed here at Superior Court, Cosby's attorneys went after one of his accusers. And meanwhile, the LAPD chief has surprised some experts by suggesting his department could do some work that might help alleged victims. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck told reporters Thursday his department is prepared to investigate accusations against Bill Cosby, even if they're beyond the statute of limitations, even if criminal charges could not be brought. No, they could be used in, in civil recourse uh, or uh, a number of other things. We don't turn people away because things are out of statute. You, you come to us, especially with an al a sexual allegation, you know, we will work with you. The LAPD would not elaborate on the chief's comments tonight, but CBS legal analyst Steve Meister says not only is the move unusual and unlikely, it would possibly be illegal. If LAPD takes taxpayer dollars and uses them to basically function as the private investigator for a private plaintiff, that should be construed as an unlawful gift of public funds and it should be barred. Once now, I'm all for that. If they feel like they have a case, if they feel like this man is guilty and he really did that, then I'm all for them opening up that case. But what bothers me is that they're so quick to reopen up Bill Cosby's case and say that there's no statute of limitations. But then in the whole Stephen Collins situation, where he was on tape admitting to molesting these women when they were children, they're saying they can't do anything in that case because of statute of limitations. To me, child molestation is an even bigger deal than what Bill Cosby has done. What he's done is a big deal too, but so is what Stephen Collins has done. I think both of these cases should be investigated thoroughly. Now, as of today, Bill Cosby has decided to kind of speak to the media. And basically, um, somebody from the New York Daily News contacted him. And they're saying that he was in an upbeat voice. And basically, this is what he's asking for the black news organizations to do on his behalf. Go ahead and check out his statement that he released today. So you guys just read his comments. So basically he's asking for the black media to be impartial with this. He's basically saying that he wants the black media to have his back as a black man, which I find really funny because, you know, Bill Cosby is known for going in on the black community. He's known for not being impartial when it comes to, you know, his opinions on, on black parenthood, black fatherhood, and black people in general. And while Bill Cosby did say some truth back then, what I never liked is the fact that he painted the entire black community with one brush. You know, everybody in the black community is not buying their kids two and three hundred dollar Jordans. Everybody in the black community is not walking around 
around sagging or selling drugs and not being a parent to their kids. I think unfortunately for Bill Cosby, he's got that basically he got into a certain level. Now he's learning that the same people who built you up can tear you back down. You know, they since canceled the Cosby show. You can no longer watch it in reruns, but yet and still Seven Heaven has been put back on the air. So I mean, this whole situation is nuts. It's gonna be really interesting to see how everything plays out. I think for him to ask for the black um, community to show some type of journalistic integrity, I feel like that's not cool. Let them report what they need to report. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he did not come out and say that he didn't do this. He didn't really address the situation. He just wants the black media to show him some type of favoritism, which I think is kind of insulting when he has no problem, you know, going in on black folks and telling black folks what they need to be doing. Now, I'm not saying that Bill Cosby is guilty of this because, like I said, I want to see proof. But with Beverly Johnson coming out and stating what she stated, it definitely makes me give him the side eye because, again, I've never known Beverly Johnson to be embroiled in any type of controversy. So I find this whole situation is really disheartening and it's looking like more and more every day that Bill Cosby may very well be guilty. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you feel about Beverly Johnson's revelations and what she said happened between her and Bill Cosby? And then also, how do you feel about Bill Cosby coming out today and basically asking that the black media have his back and show some journalistic integrity when talking about his case? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.